Hey guys, Steve here. How's everyone going? Well, we're out camping again. I've got little Winnie here with me. She's been enjoying the camping. And we're at uh, Gamari Bush Camp. I've been here before. I have another video on this place. So I might leave a link in the description so you can check it out and uh, have a look around. But uh, we've ha we're having a great weekend. We were listening to Mr. Buckaroonie last night, sitting around the fire over there. We, uh, we just had a fire on the ground down there and uh, threw a heap of wood in there and got it roaring. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, we bought our fire pit and all we've been using it for is uh, sitting over the top of it when we go to bed at night just to make sure the uh, ashes don't blow out all over the place. But I've got another video today and it's on my uh, new rooftop tent. And uh, if you notice up there on the roof there, I haven't got any solar panels or anything. I've got that great looking logo up there from Crazy Dog Canvas. And when I got this rooftop tent, I decided that I wasn't going to put fixed solar panels back up on it again like my old one. And there's a reason for that. Um, we'll get into it after the intro though. So what I might do is, I might show you some footage today from around Gamari Bush Camp, just so you can have another quick look. Cause I've had some rain here. It looks really beautiful at the moment. We've got no one around us here, so I can make as much noise as I want. So we'll get that out of the road. Don't forget to like and subscribe while it's playing. And when we get back, we'll get into it. Cheers guys. Okay guys, welcome back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of intro. So let's get these solar panels out. So I've bought foldable solar panels. Now, bug biting me there. You would have known that I had my kick-ass solar panels. Uh, I still have those. I've got the uh, 200 watt kick-ass solar panels, but I've decided to um, change to a different type. And there's a few reasons. I'll get into that with the video, but we'll get the new ones out I've got in here. And here they are here. Now they store in here. And you can see they come in this great looking bag and you might be able to tell by the name on there what they are, Anadrive. I have an Anadrive uh, lithium battery in this trailer, 128 amp hour, but I decided to go with these panels. So I might head over here, I might um, get them out of the bag, set them all up, show you what's in the bag and uh, go through them all with you, eh? Geez guys, let's head around there. Okay guys, we're over here. Comes in this great little bag like I was saying there before. It's like a, um, no, it's not canvas, but it's like a sewn sort of ripstop sort of material, uh, probably polyester or something like that, but it's quite tough, it's quite good. And the, th the reason I went with these solar panels is, I, with my other trailer, you always some were parking, time. you know, or trying to, to park somewhere out in the sun all the time, so that you could get the sun on the solar panels on the roof of the trailer and you had to always park the trailer facing a certain direction. Now I don't have to worry about that. I can find the nicest spot, uh, whether it's in the shade, in the sun, but you know, get the trailer pointing where I want it. And then I can put the solar panels out in the sun wherever I want to put those. So I can run 10 meters of cable or longer if I want to and uh, still get my battery charged but I don't have to be worrying about where I'm going to park my trailer all the time, you know, in the right direction, out in the sun. It's just, it was just uh, a pain. So I had the opportunity to do this because I sold the other one. So I thought I'll have a look around and I come across these panels. Um, I bought them in Brisbane off uh, Drifter. They were stocking them at the time. I don't know whether they still stock them, but uh, I got them off them and uh, they're in a drive which sort of suited my purposes because having the Anadrive lithium battery in my trailer, I know how good it is. And uh, I thought I'd go with these panels and give them a go now. I'll get them out. So in the bag, you can hopefully you can see here, the bag is not actually the size of the panels. They're not that big. There's a compartment in the other end here with all the cords. So you get 
your five metres of uh, six mil cable cord. Um, it did have two red plugs on it. And the reason they do that is there's no um, solar controller on these panels. They're just straight, you know, your 19 volt or 20 volt, I think they put out at maximum straight out of the panel. The reason they do that, Enerdrive say that they found that a lot of people have their own solar controller built into their trailers. And why pay for a solar controller on a panel when you don't need it? If you need one, you can buy one off them and plug that into these panels before you plug it into your battery system. I think that's you know, a pretty, pretty smart idea because how often do you buy panels and they've got a solar controller stuck to them and you're only paying for something that you really don't ever use. So the only thing I had to do, um, I'll show you on this cord, it did come with two red uh, Anderson plugs. The gray doesn't plug in to the red, it's a different size. And the reason they do that is so you don't accidentally plug this panel straight into a battery and wreck it you know, without having a, control, a solar controller on it to reduce the voltage. So I just uh, changed one of the Anderson plugs over on the end and uh, we'll get the panel out. Now also in this bag I, I've got an extra cord in here which I carry around. I also have, you got with it, was the uh, little alligator clips with an Anderson plug on there in case you do want to connect it to a battery. And they did give you a couple of extra little uh, cords here if you need to hook them to a solar controller or something like that. Now I think one of these is the red plug that I took off that other cord. I just stuck it on back on here. I think there was a grey one on one of these. So you had a grey and a red. So you get those in there as well. We'll pull the panel out. And we'll have a look at it, throw that away. So here they are here. We'll look at the front first. Now you've got the Enerdrive name on there. Now you've got one of the little legs on there with the uh, Velcro with the little strapping. So I'll just stand that up there so you can see it come out. And that holds the panel up when you've got them all folded out. They're all got the same leg on there. You can see the other one here on the other side. That's really smart. I think if you remember when I did my uh, iTech World uh, little solar uh, generator station that they called it, um, they had a little set of 100 watt panels that come with it and uh, they had these little legs on the back like that as well but they had these little clips that you had to clip on there and clip on there and I said that was a pain in the butt. Why can't you just sew a bit of bloody strap in between there and put a bit of Velcro on it and a drive have done that. Obviously, they would have come up with that before I said it, but uh, you know, it's just a smarter idea. You haven't got all these little parts to lose. So on the other side, you've got the input. So you, like I said, there's no regulator on this. You just plug your red Anderson plug into the bottom here. Pull these legs out. You've got two little uh, clips up here, which are easy. So it's easy to pack away. And the reason I went with these panels and not using my 200 watt uh, kick-ass panels. The, the kick-ass panels are a tiny bit bigger, as in size this way and this way. And also, but having an aluminium frame around them, they're quite a bit bigger and they are a little bit heavier. Not a lot in it. I don't know the exact weight of these, but have a look at that. I'll hold those up to the lens there. Have a look how thick they are. Those kick-ass panels were twice the thickness of that in the bag. And these are much lighter. So we'll fold them out here, the right way up. I've got them upside down there. I've got to remember the little red cord pokes up when you fold them out and get them the right way around. So there we go there. You got your four panels. We'll just um, kick that cord out of the road. We'll fold the legs down and just go along, unzip all the Velcro, which is quite easy. And you can see, like I said, with those other panels, you had those little clips you had to put on. Now, all you gotta do is get your little uh, red Anderson plug because it's got the red one on the back of the panel here. Clip that in. I've got an extension cord already here, plugged in. Plug that in, 
and I'm ready to start generating power. It's probably going into the trailer there now. I'll see if I can get onto my uh, phone app for my battery because my Enerdrive battery has got a built-in BMS that you can track it with an app. And we'll have a look and see what it's doing, eh? I'm hoping to uh, have an app like this I can put on my new battery, my iTech World battery in the back of the car soon too because it's just so much better than having to run around to the back of the trailer all the time. So it's just hooking in now. Now these oh, are fiberglass, extra hard. So if you get a little bit of shade on one, it doesn't matter. You'll still get a pretty good voltage into your trailer. It's putting in... 11 and a half amps it's about uh midday right now and charging there's nothing running in the trailer so i have seen it put up to 13 14 amps in here at two there's a little bit of cloud cover around too which is just affecting it but straight away i've got you now 11 amps going in and i can move these panels around quite easily Whereas before, when I had them on the trailer, it was really hard. Like, you, you really had to think about where you're putting the trailer. So that's why I've gone with these panels. I'm really happy with them. They're nice and, uh, nice and light. They're nice and small. They can just pack up inside the trailer there. And they're nowhere near the weight of the two Red Arc 300 watt panels that I had on the old trailer. So I just thought I'd give you a quick look at them. There's a lot of these panels on the market that uh, make these little foldable panels. You know, uh, Red Arc... Um, kick ass obviously i've done a review on theirs before it was more with these ones they're they're a little bit more uh, the other ones were only 200 watts these are 240 they're just putting in a little bit more power um, they're a little bit lighter a bit easier for me to travel with so that's why i've changed them i'll probably end up uh, selling my uh, kick ass ones eventually so uh, if i don't use them at home i have been actually using them at home in the shed so I just pull them out of the shed when I go have them at home and when I take the trailer home and sit the panels outside or if I've got the car parked in the shed and I want to charge the battery in the trailer, I just stick the kick-ass ones outside. So that's probably what I'll keep doing with them. But uh, yeah, thanks very much. Um, if you've got any questions, queries or comments, uh, leave them down below. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.